Hi guys, talk and float. I hope this floats your boat because it is starting to float mine. And I'll try to make as many bad jokes about water related things as I can. So what do we have here? It's a speedboat simulator. Design it, drive it, speedboats. Which is quite the awesome game. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, see, you can even do stunts. That's the thing. So, what is this? Okay, it's like a physics sandbox in a way. I would describe it like that. So you have a boat. In this case, it looks like a bit like this. Power boat type deal. But being a physics thing, even I turn my wheel, I turn the engine. Like that. And I have other controls as well. I'm totally new to uh, anything boat related. So I can move the engine up and down in the water a little bit. And I can change the angle at which it sits. Which of course changes how the forces are all done. Speaking of forces... This is the cool part, right? So, being a physics sandbox-ish... The shape of your boat actually makes it handle. So the boat is the hull is divided up into many many parts, each of which touches the water, and forces are applied at each of these little parts. And then at the end of the day, the sum of all those forces makes the boat go or not. crash I'm crashing <laughs> help so yeah so now it's stable I'm mean, gonna change the angle of the engine there and the nose wants to pick up And that's just fascinating, all the arrow and, and floaty things and forces. Until that happens, so... I think this is fascinating uh, and it's, it's super cool. So, that's uh, in a nutshell. This is made by Todd Was Wesson. He told me how to pronounce his last name and I'm still getting it wrong. You may know him from Virtual RC, that's a racing simulator for radio control cars, which he did. And he's, this is his new physics project basically, and well, I wanted to spend two minutes today just, you know, get it going and see what it was about, and now we are a couple of hours down the line. And what have I spent my hours doing? Designing boats, that's the whole point, because if you sh change the shape, you change all the, the, li the little places where all the, the forces are applied, so the physical shape of the 3D model actually uh, decides on the physics, which is the opposite of racing games, where the shape is just a 3D model and other aero models decide on the downforce and all that sort of stuff. So this is very physical and, and, and cool, so each thing you change to the shape will change the handling of your boat. And there are a lot of things here you can change. I won't even go into that now because we'll be here for another hour. Uh, but I've made some, I've prepared some earlier. Right, so this is a boat here. It can go quite extreme. Uh, I think this will be fun, right? So the biggest engines I could find to the smallest boat. That'll work. I haven't tried these, right? So this will be the first time. Front of Tanker, that's descriptive. <laughs> this will go just fine. That's uh, what could go, go wrong with this. Nothing at all. Uh, I've got a floating wing. See how extreme you can make these shapes. And I've got no idea what this will do. So you can make all sorts of radical shapes and, and, and try 
them out. That, now, that's silly, of course. But being as it is a physics water box, Lord, it should be quite logical. Because all the forces just apply at the hull, just like water uh, interacts with the hull and arrow and the shape. So, super awesome just seeing what you can uh, come up with. Now, naturally, you can do this seriously and make uh, a racing boat and then tweak the shape a little bit, see how it corners, and it's all quite, uh, quite nice. But for uh, getting to know this, I'm just going with the extremes. And you have the tunnel boats, which are more like the power boats. And well, here, for example, I've made a, a, a less obvious, silly change. So this is the default one. Lo look at the bottom, it's flat. So we can try that. And we can also have made some changes. So here now, the front is high and it sort of rakes a little bit. No idea what that does. Rake up. And the other way around. See, so this is a sort of a subtle change. Well, probably not subtle, but compared to the oil tanker and, and flying wing, subtle. And you can try it out, see what happens, what happens to your lap times, to the handling. So uh, yeah, it uh, should be interesting. So let's drive the default one a little bit before I uh, embarrass myself by, uh, by uh, showing to you I'm not a good designer. So now the trim is at 10. I'll turn the forces off. So this is sort of a lap, and everything, the motor torque, and the, oh, I'm di dying. Oh, bad. <coughs> it puts you back in the water, but I don't know where to, okay, there to go. So the trim is at 10, which sort of makes the nose go up. Bad idea, the faster you go. See, you don't want to be touching the water too much. It causes this drag, as far as I can tell. But if you're completely out of the water, you're no longer a boat, things go wrong. So now with zero trim, I'm hitting 130, 140. I'm not going that quickly. So I trim it up. See? Instantly. Where do I go? Oh, there. It goes faster. Oh, but the nose starts to... <laughs> okay, you cannot see what I did. Okay, I press the clutch pedal as I'm crashing instinctively press the clutch. That's not gonna do a whole lot in a speed mode. So I'm working the trim controls. The faster I go, the lower the trim has to be to stop this thing from uh, becoming an airplane. Oh, you can be very in instant with your... Uh, the opposite from a racing car, you can be harsh and direct with your inputs. Oh, you feel the front getting light. Let's reduce that trim. Wow, that corners. You just do the opposite of what you do in a racing car. You throw it in like mad. At least that's my uh, technique so far. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Oh, this is scary. Where do I go? Left, I think. Oh, it's very light at the front. It's really light. It's really light. More trim. Getting it wrong. Oh, I love this. This is so cool because I have no idea what the technique should be. Another boat, man. Oh, yeah, picking up speed. Ooh, and that's too much. Wow. It's gonna hurt. And I've pressed my clutch pedal again. It's uh, a sad state of affairs. I could do this for a very, very long time. Oh, uh, well, 
I don't know how many lives you get, but that was a bit too high on the speed with too much of that trim. I <laughs> pressed the clutch again, there is no clutch news. Ah. So, okay, that's cool. And as this is... Nothing is scanned, right? So the interaction between the water and the body, literally the shape of the body, is what makes this go. And the angle at which the engine is sticking out at the back. So that's fascinating, right? So I made a couple of changes to this boat, probably making it worse. So now let's try the rake down one. Right, I think this will sort of point upwards more, so the chances that this will fly into the air and go horribly wrong, I would expect that to be worse. So with less trim, my rough expectation will be one of uh, flying. It's not yet, okay. Oh, ooh. It seems more like it doesn't fall over immediately, it's just a bit slower. You can go like oh, on a wheelie sort of a deal. Oh, 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 he says. <laughs> Niels, this car still doesn't have a clutch. But this sits quite differently. Oh man, I just like that it's physics, right? That it's nothing canned. Oh, that's land, that's land! Super cool. Super cool. So... The longer these arrows are, that's probably the, the, the magnitude of the forces. And there are so many places where these forces apply and are calculated. That's so impressive. Super nice. Oh, 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 oh. Where do I go now? I know. That's an arrow there. Oh. You feel that the nose is rising and there's only so much you can do. Super cool. Oh, I'm I'm in love. I like this. I'm drowning. Okay, so that's the other one. I rake up. Let's try this one. It has to be uh, repeated. I'm doing this all with no skill whatsoever. Oh, this is pulling to the left quite hard. It's as if the front is pushing into the water. But it is going quick. Hmm. Oh, this is horrible. It's all bouncy. And it doesn't steer. I'm turning quite hard right here. Just to keep it straight. <laughs> oh, wobble, wobble! You hit, you see it bounce and wobble over the waves. That's a bad. Okay, this is a bad design, Niels. You did bad. But just changing the shape does this. So there's an infinite number of boats you can fail with. Very stable. Super cool. Now being a physics sand uh, water box, water bucket. <laughs> what is this called? You don't get 
the most game options or online things, but there is some uh, sort of hot lapping thing and, and competition stuff going on. So there is uh, some gaming element, not just the sandbox uh, thing. So you have some locations here, canyons or a, a twisty bit, uh, different layouts there. That's pretty cool. And Lotus Lake short a shootout is just, uh, just I think going straight and then turning back or something like that. I don't know. That's a long lap. Reminds me of hmm, what good is that? Anyway, short. This is the one we were doing. Or oh, you can just do free as the wind. Uh, Todd scope Sandy. I don't know. I don't know. Probably a lot, quite a few variations here in in a, few, a couple of environments. But I'll go with the short one. So that, those are some, some of the locations and things you can do. Um, well, let's try this one. The flying wing. Will it float? <laughs> oh, it's already not... <laughs> a full lock on the, to the right. It's not happening. Help, I cannot see. This is bad. Okay, what have I done? <laughs> it's all going wrong! Hmm, the Jeremy Clarkson solution of more power doesn't seem to actually result in any more speed. Oh, look, whoa, it's going. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, I changed some of the angle stuff. It's hard to get going, this. Okay, that's cool. That's real cool. Still cannot see. That's the problem. Oh, I, I hit something. Okay, so... Uh that land I, I've landed so that kind of works that's cool but I cannot see for the life of me so uh, we have to change something well my head's already sticking up high but the whole thing is tilted backwards when I floor it uh, let's see if I move to the front will that matter slightly I think back that to help a little I'm already up as high as it go. Uh, more forward. Let's see. Can I see where I'm going now? Nope. <laughs> Still not. Oh, does it even... Oh, hang on, hang on. This is not... Uh, I've spotted the design flaw here. Well, next to the fact that it won't steer. I'm not sure if it can go in between the the the, the thingy bits. Turn. Eh. It's not the most responsive thing in the world. <laughs> uh, nope. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a bad boat designer. Uh, 
Very bad. This thing is not working. Full lock to the left. I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, I'm going sideways. Well, I guess that's good. I don't know about you, but I just love this. The physics engine will just make it work lo logically, and if you have a horrible design, such as this, it'll go horribly. However, hmm, let's see, what else do we have? I made more boats. Any different? Okay, well, I think I could s can see from this one a little better, hopefully. Drive it! Oh, what so? Yeah. Still doubt if it can actually fit through. It's not responsive! Go that way! Go that way! I guess the engines are. Ah, uh, this kind of sort of steers, except until you go more than four miles an hour, then it doesn't. What will happen if we put the engines closer together? Certainly that'll make it steer a lot better, right? Well, let's do that. Design this. Well, calling this a design is a little uh, optimistic. Facing. I still want three engines because more power. Still doesn't like steering. <laughs> yep, this is awesome. Full lock, going sideways. Hard left, right, hard left. No control whatsoever. Ah, oh, just like most racing cars then. Going sideways. <laughs> oh, hitting something. How can you hit something on open water then? You're a horrible driver. Okay, well. Um, yeah, let's try the front of tanker. Because... How could this go wrong? Impossible. Drive it. <laughs> it's already... <laughs> oh no, it sank! Uh. Oh, that's not good. It's tipping over. Yeah. It doesn't like my boat. Which I can understand, really. Tipping over backwards, sort of, right? So let's see what I can do. This will obviously be better. Ooh, almost tipping over backwards. <laughs> oh, it, it's <laughs> so horrible! No control! Steering left, steering... Oh, okay, I guess I can see why the engines are sticking. The propellers aren't in the water most of the time. More power! Hey, I'm going. I am. We're ah! crashing the camera. Bare feet. That's the way to go, apparently. 
<laughs> oh, this is nice. I like this. What's our speed? Mm, not a lot, so I guess this design won't win me the race. Still though, nice and stable. With no control over the direction whatsoever. Uh, slight, some. But it's wobbly and bouncy and oh, now the engine is... Engine sticking out, no diving. Not good, not good. Mayday. Ship, ship day, bad day. What? Something caused the nose to dive. What was that? What was that? What was that? What's gone wrong? Oh, okay, yeah. Can I sink him a little bit? Yes. Oh, I can sink them a lot. You get some chorus effect because I guess there are three engine sounds playing together. I fixed the boat. We're going in. We are going again. Ah, running over another camera. No, nope, bad. Let's see. What's our speed? What's our speed? Eight. <laughs> Okay, this, uh, but you know, a, a couple of changes here and there, it, it works and it's, I, I'm fascinated. I, I guess you, some of you will be bored, some of you will share my uh, enthusiasm. This will do, <laughs> somehow I doubt if it will do. Let's try, oh! Okay, kind of tipping over, slightly. <laughs> Could it be from slightly too much rear weight? Okay, that's bad design. Which is a shame. Let's fix the bad design, okay? Let's... See, I could drop two of the engines, but that's lame. We don't want to do that. Um, more front. It's already on the front. Can you make the driver fatter? Not an option. Probably not. Make the boat longer. Will that help? Ooh. Hello, son. That's bad. And... Nope. Okay, we have a bit too much junk in the trunk then. Design it. Uh, okay, three engines might be a little over the top. Even though they only have 175, sorry, 300 horsepower each. Let's try one and then go back to the shortest. Okay, this should still be, you know, working. Not go. okay, it's not tipping over. That's promising, very promising. I cannot see very well. More steer. <laughs> Okay, there we are, there we are, there we are, that's cool. Oh! Going fast! Oh, real fast! Oh, 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 bad, 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 ooh! Okay, cornering needs a little work. Oh, oh! so you can randomly make some shapes that doesn't mean your boat will uh, work all that well but it will go very fast Changing the pitch. Oh, should not have done that. <laughs> and we're back. It's 
stabilizes. Just have to go quicker. That's the answer to everything. Going real fast again. Oh, you feel it's sort of not liking this one bit. <laughs> it doesn't come with a bucket to scoop all the water out of the... What is it? The cockpit? Okay, let's keep it straight. So far so good. Let's change that pitch a little bit. This is cool. Design it, drive it, speedboats. Or in my case, design it, fail at the designing part, fail at the driving part, and have a very unspeedy boat, but have a lot of fun. Link in the description uh, if you want to try this out. It's available on Steam, so uh, spend some time with this. It's really, really cool. I find anyway, but I'm a peculiar sort of guy. Let's uh, end with a couple of laps in the tunnel mode. Let's go with the default one. Or, oh, actually, mini. Yeah. How about this one? Drive it. Oh. I designed something that works! Oh, nope, nope, it doesn't... <laughs> okay, I should wait a little longer before claiming my design is a success. It's green from uh, Colin Chapman's philosophy of add lightness. Which meant that it's a little small. But it's nimble, and it's got power. Just a little unstable. But it's quite wide, so it's cornered well, apparently. But it has anything to do with good cornering? I don't know my boats. It's actually working. Oh, nope, it's not. Hmm. It's working until you say it's working. Okay, so you saw some of the super silly designs that barely floated. But this one uh, makes me wet. Uh, let's see. Oh, I cannot really floor it on the straights or it'll go nuts above a certain speed. And I have got the trim all down to zero. Ah. Oh, once it's unstable, it's really bad. Temperamental. Let's try trim. Let's make it worse. Oh, it's worse. Let's not crash. Yeah. Oh. That's bad. That's bad. Air brake. Meant to do that. These things corner, man. That's amazing. Two G's. That's quite nice. How long have I been ra uh, rambling about this game now? Too long. Anyway, uh, Maxi. <laughs> Let's drive this. 
Oh, okay, that's stable. I like that. This suits my talents a bit more. Although it's really slow. It's touching the water everywhere, making it probably stable and having a lot of drag. Okay, that's no fun. You want to be flying everywhere except where you want to be floating. Hmm. I feel I have to end this, guys. So this is uh, Design It, Drive It Speedboats, or as I uh, already said in my case, Design It, Fail at the Design, uh, Drive It a Little Bit, and Sink Slow Boats. But that's the beauty. You can make everything you want, any shape you want. And it's physics, baby, so if you do well, the boat will do well. That's super cool. Check it out on Steam, link in the description. Thank you for watching if you uh, made it this far. Hope you like this. I may do more videos about this because I'm uh, starting to get uh, sucked in. See you later guys, bye bye.